Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvalo Grim here and welcome to Ingest 2 Mobile News. In this video we'll talk about the chests that are in the store, the arena season, the challenges uh, and uh, pretty much what's worth your time, your energy and your money. And before we get into the video, uh, if uh, any of uh, new players watching this video are uh, looking for a tier 6 league, uh, join uh, the Discord link in the description, the first one, and you'll find over there a league. We just opened the new one, it's a tier 6 league, and it's going to be uh, US time 8pm and GTM time will be 1. Uh, so, if you are interested, links will be in the description, and as usual, subscribe if you enjoy the content, a huge percentage of you are not subscribed and are really appreciated, only takes one click and you can always change your mind. So with all that being said, let's get into it. The arena season character that we have in this arena season is unfortunately Dark Supergirl, and let's take a quick look at her. Her second and third abilities are pretty much bland, her first ability is going to deal some dot damage and I guess that's always good to have and when it comes to her passive she's going to have a very interesting passive, if you, had, if you attack her in while uh, the opponent is using a special attack she will gain unblockable, she will interrupt the special ability and at the same time she will gain 100% damage and 100% critical attack chance for 7 seconds. And that sounds good right? Yeah, the only problem is the fact that she cannot chain uh, a combo from the tag-in, she cannot chain uh, an ability from the tag-in, and by the time those uh, 7 seconds are going to be up, because it does not increase with the rank, your buff is most likely going to be over and done. And uh, in theory this is a very interesting passive, but in practice it's going to be pretty much useless for the most part. Like, she, she's going to make some use out of this, she's going to be a decent arena damage dealer, but she'll have no use in raids and soul raids, and unfortunately she's not really worth building. Uh, if you're a new player, this is going to be a pretty easy arena season with a pretty decent arena damage dealer to boost your progress, but if not, just farm it for gems. Don't gem refresh this to rush to Elite 1 or Elite 4, she is definitely not worth it. Now let's get into a challenge. We've gone from the second worst Power Girl character to the first worst Power Girl character. I, I mean she's Super Girl but it doesn't really matter. And as you can see I haven't unlocked her, I have zero shards for her because I simply refuse to farm her from the challenges because he's crap. Jokes on me if she gets reworked but I'm willing to take that risk. So, her, she's got the dot on the special one, the special tree, you can't see it because I don't have her unlocked, but it doesn't do anything special. And uh, the uh, passive of her is the fact that she gets a chance to cast special one for free. And uh, that's okay, I guess, but uh, the problem with that is the special one is going to be uh, pretty damn cheap anyway, so it does not really matter if you use it for free. And uh, she's overall a pretty underwhelming character, uh, one of the worst characters in the game, and I refuse to farm her. You might want to farm her expecting a rework in the future if you want to do things like that, but I, I just don't want to bother with her. But yeah, let's move on to the uh, uh, other challenge. We got over here the good old Brainiac challenge and you might be like, oh my god, a legendary character that I can farm. And uh, you'll be disappointed, like, he's very good at one thing, don't get me wrong, he's very very good at being a support character for Black Manta. And a decent support character for other legendary characters, but other than that he does not do much. By himself, he does not do much and uh, if you don't have another legendary character he, he ain't gonna do much, but you should still farm him as much as you are able to because eventually you'll end up with Black Manta eventually and you'll need to have Brainiac. So definitely farm as much of this challenge as possible but don't expect too much out of him once you unlock him, he has only one purpose and uh, anything other than that is not going to perform very well. With all that being said, let's get into the store Moving section. Moving up to the store section of the video, first up we got Artifact Chest. Uh, this is a chest that uh, it's two things, first of all you are most likely not going to get your gems worth out of it because most drops over here are not worth the gems you are spending, you got like an, a pretty damn low percentage uh, to get something decent for your gems but at the same time anything you get from here is going to be useful in one way or another because it's either artifact fragments or stuff that you can break into artifact fragments if it's an unfortunate drop and uh, it's pretty much a safe way to go but I wouldn't get it because we had so many sales on this chest and I wouldn't get this chest full price because I can assure you more sales on this one will be upcoming. It's not a bad chest when it's on sale, it's not a good chest when it's not on sale, so definitely wait for a sale on this one. Uh, well, save up your gems, wait for your chance to get the old blades a little longer, maybe you'll get it from raids by that point. Next up, Shared Reality, a chest that's going to have chances increased for uh, a lot of multiverse characters. 
I'm not okay with the fact that uh, Flash and Armor Supergirl don't really have their chances increased because they are the only two characters that you are really looking for. The other characters are okay, don't get me wrong, except for White Canary, she's not the best. Uh, Captain Cold is uh, not one of the best ones either, but he's pretty decent. But overall, all the multiverse characters are good characters. But if you're looking for Flash, don't go for this one. Try to get him from the Arena Seasons uh, or try to get him from the Arrowverse chest. If you're looking for Multiverse Armor Supergirl, don't go for this one. Wait for the uh, Winter Warfare chest or uh, try and get her from the Arena Season. Though it kind of sounds like a joke at this point because it's been half a year since she's been in the Arena Season. Nether Realms, please. But... If you're a new player, then you might as well grab this, because as a new player you'll need a few characters to kickstart your account, and the other option is going to be the premium chest, and uh, it's not a good premium chest, spoilers, it's not a good premium chest, so if you're a new player, either go for the hero chest or try your luck on the shared reality chest, because while all the characters over here, except for Multiverse Armor Supergirl, I guess, are going to be in the arena seasons, they are all pretty decent characters, so it's not going to be a waste of gems. But uh, if you don't really need more characters, then don't really roll on this one for Flash or Multiverse Armor Supergirl, because there are simply better ways to do this. This over here is a total scam. This is like the uh, equivalent of uh, uh, the gear chest for Black Manta, let's say. And with Black Manta, you kind of have to get this if you want his gears in the free-to-play way, because of the fact that uh, they... Uh, are not to be found anywhere, but with Darkseid you will have his gears, you'll have them, okay? You'll have them once you unlock him through the achievements, I think you need to get level seven, level 50 character to get the last piece of gear from the achievements, but you'll get them from there. And it says 8% chance for Darkseid shards, god damn this must be a good chance to get my Darkseid from, no! This is not a good chance to get your Dark Side from because that 8% chance is going to be a chance to get 20 shards for him. He unlocks at 4 stars, you need 450 shards for him. So don't go for this one, I don't care in what situation you are, there's literally no situation in the entire game to get this chest. And the premium chest is going to have Solstair Dr. Fate, like he's not a great character but... Uh, no but, don't go for this one, but I think the by the time the video will uh, be up, uh, this chest will most likely be changed, so uh, it doesn't really matter, but this premium chest is not good. Moving on to his special offers, please, if you're going to spend 100 bucks on a legendary character, do yourself a favor and don't get Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. Go for Arkham Knight Batman, go for Black Manta, go for Batman Ninja Gorilla Grodd, go for Just League Superman, but don't go for Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, she's the worst legendary character and you need the full Suicide Squad team to make her work. Next up is going to be the Dark Duo. And you might like, god damn, only 20 bucks for two gold characters over here with all their gears? Yeah, the only problem is that they are average characters. Like Nightwing is a little bit better than Dark Supergirl, but he's not top notch either. So even though it's a pretty decently low price, I wouldn't really spend it because it's not going to help you buy a bunch. And if you want to get them at 4 stars, the markup is going to be huge. Like if uh, this, uh, if uh, the 4 star bundle, it would have been uh, like the price of the 3 star bundle, then maybe it would have been a good deal for new players to get a head start, but no. Silver Banshee gears you don't need, they are in the uh, challenges and you can get them from there when the Silver Banshee challenge comes. Nightwing gear, like they only drop from raids and this would be a way to speed up the process but at the same time you are in no rush to build Nightwing. And Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, yeah, do yourself a favor and buy the gears from here if you want them uh, at 10 bucks. Because if you're going to get the power up Harley Quinn, Heartbreak Har not Heartbreaker, this is, this is Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, excuse me. If you're going to uh, want to get the gears for Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, then uh, just pay the 10 bucks rather than spending up to 40k gems to unlock them through the chest. And lastly is going to be the Secrets of the Lanterns. Uh, this one is going to have Solstice Darker Fate. This is crap. There's some good stuff, stay on the lookout for the Secrets of the Lanterns because sometimes you can get Silver Banshee 360 shards at uh, 20 bucks and that's a pretty good deal. So yeah, with all that being said, thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, remember to check the link in the description if you need a new link and I'll see you in the next one.